Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe. And I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the interior architecture program. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're having a great day. It's a nice late winter, early spring day here in Chicago. I hope the weather's great where you're at. Today, we are going to look at how to set up stable diffusion, comfy UI interface on RunPod. So comfy UI is the node-based interface, the visual scripting interface for stable diffusion, and it's really nice to use, and it's really powerful. We're going to look at today how to set it up on RunPod. So I'm going to kind of start over from scratch because I'm in my comfy UI right now, and I'm going to stop and terminate this server that I'm using. So if you haven't used RunPod before, it's really simple. RunPod is a place where you can basically rent cloud servers, and this is especially useful for AI applications that require a lot of GPU memory, and not all of our computers have the right GPU memory to run things like Stable Diffusion. So places like RunPod are really great to rent these cloud servers from. So we're going to go ahead and just log in. So you'll need to make an account and log in, and you'll need to add some money to your account. Now, I've been adding $25 at a time, and it's been lasting me a really long time. Um, you can add as little as $10. So once you've added that, you're going to go to Pods, and you're going to click on Plus for GPU Pod. I've been using Secure Cloud. So let's talk a little bit about the difference between Secure Cloud and Community Cloud. Community Cloud is less expensive but you can't keep your files stored, which is really not useful for Stable Diffusion because Stable Diffusion has so many large model checkpoints, and you don't want to have to reinstall those every time you use Stable Diffusion. If you had to reinstall those every time you use Stable Diffusion, that can take maybe an hour's worth of time every, try, every time you try to launch it. So I use Secure Cloud where I have a network volume that I created that's 100 gigabytes, and I can keep accessing that network volume. So that network volume is stored somewhere on a server, on a cloud server, and mine happens to be, I think, in Canada on one of those servers. So it's always going to revert back to that server location that you first start with. So I have a lot of options here um, to use to deploy. I really like this RTX A4000 for $0.34 cents an hour. If I want a little more speed for just an extra $0.10, cents, I can use the A5000, which isn't available right now, but that has 24 gigabyte of VRAM. That's quite a bit of VRAM. 16 gigabytes of VRAM will be okay to run and will suit our needs for running this comfy UI interface. So the one thing is we want to deploy it with a template, and we want to use the RunPod SD Comfy UI. Now, sometimes it's hard to find that one for whatever reason. I think it's a... It's a user-made template. It's not one that was made by RunPod. Um, so if we go, when I go to templates, it's not going to show anything there because these are templates that we create. But if I go to explore, then all the official ones show up and then the community-based ones. And if I type in SD and I type in comfy, UI, you see I get the SD Comfy UI. So that's a way to find it if you can't find it through the search when you're deploying your GPU. Now I can click on Deploy to GPU Cloud. That shows up at the top. And now I'm going to go ahead and deploy my server. And I'm going to click Continue. Now what's nice about the Comfy UI versus the Automatic 1111 is the Comfy UI configures and launches much quicker than the automatic 1111. So what I mean by that is it's going through these logs. Automatic, automatic 1111 can take between 
five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It takes a while to load automatic 1111, but I noticed the Comfy UI loads a lot quicker. And then once it loads, you can click on connect and you can connect through the HTTP service port 3000. And that launches the Comfy UI. All right, if you wanna learn more about Comfy UI basics for architecture, I have a video on that, you can check it out. I'm gonna put it in the upper right and I'm gonna put another video in the lower right. My head's gonna pop up in the upper left. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Search me up on YouTube, click the subscribe, click on the down arrow to receive all the notifications. There is something here for you if you're into AI, if you're into video editing, if you're into real-time rendering engines, if you're into parametric modeling, there is something here for you. Help me get to 14,000 subscribers. That's going to be a great milestone. Also, connect with me on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso, underscore my last name, Peluso. I am about 20 seven followers away from 10,000 followers. So if you're seeing this video today or tomorrow, you might be my 10,000th follower. Wouldn't that be great? I've been making a lot of videos helping out architecture students along on their journey. So check out those videos. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.